In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix compile error in hidden module in Excel or Word on Windows 11. So it's actually quite simple. I'm going to show you three methods you have to do, and then hopefully we'll get your system working. So the first thing you want to do is re-register OCX files with CMD. And the way you do this is by going to search down here and typing in CMD. Then you want to open up this command prompt over here, and then you'll see this kind of dark window over here. Now inside here, you want to first acknowledge if you have a 32-bit Windows or a 64-bit Windows. And once you know this, we're going to have to type in some commands over here. So these are the commands over here, as you can see. For 32-bit Windows, you want to first type this in, so this over here, and then you just want to type it in and press enter. And then after you've done that, you want to type in this one, so this second one over here, and then you want to press enter yet again, okay? So simply just paste this in and this in, and then press enter. However, if you have a 64-bit Windows, you want to paste this in or type this one in, press enter, and then this one as well, and yet again, you want to press enter. So once you've done that, you can try running your Microsoft Excel or Word again and see if the error is still there. If it is, we're going to try a second method. If it's not, that's great because it means it's fixed. Now, if it didn't work, what you want to do is we're going to delete some exd files right now. And the way you do this is by going to search down here, you type in run, and you want to open this up. And in here, you want to type percent app data percent. Now from here, you want to press OK. And then inside this folder, you want to look for Microsoft. And it's over here for me. You want to open this up. And then you want to look for a folder which is called Forms. Now, if this folder does exist, it's called Forms. Click on it. For me, I don't have it because I currently do not have this error anymore. You just want to tap on Forms and open up the Forms folder. And then you want to find two files in there. So there will be two files which are the it, it will say com c t l l i b so c o m c t l l i b dot e x d okay that's the first file you want to look for and then the second one is m s c o m c t l l i b dot e x d okay so if I just paste this over here these are the the ones you're looking for so essentially this one and then this one as well over here. Now you want to look for these and you want to delete them. If you don't see the .exd, what you want to do is click over here on those three dots, or excuse me, on view, and then you want to go show, and make sure you have file name extensions available and turned on, because otherwise you won't be able to see them. Now once you've done that, simply you delete those two files, restart your Excel or Word, and check if that fixed the issue. If that did not fix the issue, there's one more thing you can try doing. And it is you want to go to this PC over here on your computer and you want to go to search this PC and you want to type in this following thing. So you want to type in PDF maker dot and then this little star icon. OK, and then just wait if Windows can find anything. If you can find a folder, you will have to essentially in that folder, you will have to find PDF maker dot dot files. So this one, PDF dot dot, and then PDF dot XLA. Okay. And then what you want to do is select those two files, right click on them, and then press cut. So you want to simply cut them and then paste them onto your desktop. Now, once you've done that, you will have to restart your Excel or Word again and see if that fixed the issue. Hopefully it did. Now, that's pretty much it. Those are the three options you have. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.